Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever in the world you are. Make my whistle a little wet so I can chat with you. My name is Master Paul. It is my honor to be connecting with you today. I believe it's the fourth day of March. It is a Tuesday and March, yeah, April, excuse me. It is a Tuesday <coughs> and uh, it is the second day in a series that I am doing on opening the heart and soul. And today we're gonna to be focusing on inner beauty. One of the uh, aspects of the wisdom teachings and blessings that occurred yesterday on this same subject matter, since this is a series, is on the nature of soul and how everyone and everything has a soul. How uh, not only do we have our body soul, but there is the soul of our emotions, the soul of our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, our organs and systems have a soul, and so forth. And a lot of the ability to bring us um, to a place of opening our heart and soul is to recognize that we're not alone. <clears throat> Yesterday's wisdom teaching and blessings went on to state in a nutshell that when we awaken to our inner connectivity, not only to our own soul, but to all the souls around us and in us, since everything is made up of our beloved creator, that means all of our cells have souls, all of our organs and systems have souls. The bad knee that we always call it a bad knee. Do you ever say, I have a bad kid? And we usually don't say that to our kid. So I taught yesterday that by connecting at the level of soul, uh, first we can start to open our heart and our soul to ourselves. And then we can be of much greater value to our soul's journey and our alignment to the health and well-being of every aspect of our life. So to be able to put, it was longer than an hour yesterday, in less than three minutes, certainly doesn't cover it. I highly recommend you go back and watch yesterday's uh, uh, first day one teaching uh, wisdom and blessings <clears throat> on the nature of soul and how uh, you can open your heart and soul. So this is a series, this is day two. Today we're gonna be focusing on inner and beauty and I'll be referring to uh, some of the wisdom from Master Shah who is my spiritual teacher and father and he has written 21 books 10 of which are New York Times bestsellers uh, 11 actually now and so I'll be sharing some of that wisdom as well so the live stream is starting to populate and we've got quite a few people coming on so that's excellent <clears throat> so please share with me how uh, how was yesterday's teaching for you for those that are tuned in, did you receive value from it? And ask also uh, what you would like to uh, understand more about inner beauty. So if you have a question about inner beauty, go ahead and ask that question. I will be doing uh, a, a soul reading today, a guidance reading, uh, and I might choose one or maybe two of your questions to offer some guidance, okay? So I'm going to pause for a moment here and acknowledge all of those that are tuning in. <coughs> Aloha and welcome to Johannes. Welcome Carol Whitney. Welcome CJ. Welcome Elizabeth. Welcome Kate Nicole. And Petra Marie. Aloha Renee. Make sure that you call your cats Renee. I'm sure they'll enjoy today's show as well. Welcome Patricia. And Alicia Jade Kwan, welcome. Aloha Brenda, welcome Susan. Welcome Anne-Marie Love. And welcome Susan Birchmore and Susan Duvenvorden. And welcome Irma, good to see you here Irma. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Welcome Mary Smith. Welcome Tammy Hunter, welcome Ali. Haven't seen you in a little while Ali, good to see you back here. Welcome Diane Martin. Coming in from Naples, Florida. <clears throat> and welcome Linda Johnson. Welcome Angel. Aloha Pat and good to see you Dean. Uh, we've got several people coming in from uh, UK and Europe. It's already 1 and 2 a.m. over there. So hopefully you guys can stick around the whole time. You're awesome for even showing up this time of night. 
Okay, and welcome also to uh, any of the souls that I have missed. Welcome, Nina. And so Susan responds, it was amazing, and yes, it was. Uh, I just asked how to do the calligraphy cards of Master Shah, and you showed up. Thank you for being such a wonderful mentor. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for Master Shah. You're very welcome. And thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about today. Carol says, need guidance on how to handle high emotions of co-workers and issues with a raise she received having trouble getting paid properly. Okay, so um, I'm not sure how that associates with inner beauty, Carol. We'll take a look and see if there's some correlation there. Okay, so welcome to everybody. Please forgive me if I haven't acknowledged you. Thank you for sharing and letting other people know about this live stream. Um, inner beauty is not something that people talk too much about. And uh, probably because there's not a lot of information on it. And yet we know colloquially that inner beauty uh, reflects an outer beauty. That if we take care of what is inside, then that expresses itself externally. Very rarely is it the other way around. Um, there are many people that are beautiful externally, but not so wonderful uh, internally, or not so wonderful um, with those aspects. And so in coming to this subject matter today, uh, I asked Heaven for the guidance as to what would be the subject matter on today to assist people with more fully developing and opening their heart, opening their soul. And the message was focus on inner beauty. And I said, hmm, that's not something I'm very skilled in, so I'm going to have to educate myself more. So I picked up Master Shah's book called Soul Healing Miracles. And in this book, he has uh, several pages exactly on this subject. So why should I invent it when I can just go to the authority on this subject matter? So I'll be reading a little bit of that to you today as well. Now we'll be blessed to receive a very special blessings from a very special blessed calligraphy. Yesterday I spoke quite a bit about the nature of transmissions, healing transmissions being uh, transmitted to objects, people, things of that nature. And many of Master Shah's books have healing transmissions placed in them, including in these very special calligraphies. And he has one called uh, Guang Liang Hao Mei, which uh, I'll explain to you what that means, but it is a calligraphy associated with inner and outer beauty. And so we've had a few more people to join us. So welcome to Zilki, welcome to Kristen Strachan, Aloha Stephanie Cannon, welcome Jennifer Kress, <coughs> and um, thank you all again for the new ones coming on for hitting the share button. So let's go ahead and connect uh, heart to heart, soul to soul. We're going to call all the beings of light in, and we're going to ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to serve us. For those that are new, that are watching this or listening to this on podcast for the very first time, this is what is called the Source Soul Song. It is a song that's been translated in 50 languages, and the purpose of this song is to serve humanity. So it's a very healing and cathartic, uh, blessed song. So let us call the beings of light in. Dear all beings of light, all layers of the divine Tao and Source, our beloved Creator, the Divine. All uh, angels, healing angels, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, and saints, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, our individuals, heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. We ask you most humbly to please be with us. Please bless us for today's wisdom, blessings, and practices. Bless us to open our heart and soul. Bless us to understand more deeply inner beauty. Bless us to align more fully to our inner beauty so that we can more readily align to our soul, its journey, and its intentions in this life. Please bless us to receive all that happens outside of us and around us through the eyes of inner beauty with an open heart and soul, so that we are not harmed emotionally 
mentally, or any other way. For though when we see things from the wider eyes of the soul, from the wider eyes of our bigger purpose in life, we can be much more available in a loving place for ourselves and for others. We ask this in whatever way is most appropriate. Dear the Source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you. Please turn on, and we invite all souls in all universes to join and chant with us at this time as we offer this blessing this unconditional service to all souls. So this is a blessing. We're serving all souls when we chant, but we're also asking this song to bring us together, heart and soul, and clear our blockages so that we can more develop our inner beauty. So let us chant to serve. For all those that are new, close your eyes, receive the blessing. For all those that know the song, please join in and let us serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo ai wo shen her ling. Wo ai trun ran lei. Wang li hing rong her mu shi shong. Shong ai ping an he xie. Shong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Again. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo ai wo xin her ling, wo ai chuan ran li, wang li ying rong her mu shi sheng, sheng ai ping an he xie, sheng ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so we've had a couple more people join us. So welcome to uh, Kate Nada. Welcome, Janine. And also welcome, Master Jan. Um, anybody else I've missed, please forgive me. Double blessings to you. So thank you all for coming today. Today's focus is on inner beauty. And uh, yesterday we covered a very generalized swath of the nature of soul and how if we do not acknowledge our own soul, if we do not recognize that everyone and everything has a soul, then we can never truly open our heart. We can never truly open our soul. That in order to get to having an open heart, we must acknowledge that we are one. We offered guidance, wisdom, blessings, and practices yesterday for awakening to everyone and everything having a soul, including the practice of this song, Love, 
peace and harmony. I went into a bit of an education on it <clears throat> and how it has a significantly higher frequency than a human-based frequency and how difficult it can be to transform our life, our own blockages using our own frequencies. We would not have the problems that we have on whatever level they show up in your world if we were able to transform them given our own state of being. And our frequency is our lack thereof uh, in where we want to be is in direct relationship to the spiritual debt, our, our karma, if you will. Our spiritual debt is what brings us these unpleasant things that tend to hang around in our life and create emotional problems, spiritual problems, relationship problems, financial problems, whatever they are. They show up for us each uh, equally and individually. And so um, in, in recognizing that we have not been able to resolve them at the human level with our current level of frequency, one of the discussions that occurred yesterday was to, to invite the soul world in a lot more often to serve us. That because everything has a soul, we can serve uh, other souls. And when we serve other souls, for example, by chanting love, peace, and harmony, we are of course serving ourselves and we are serving others. How? Because in chanting love, peace, and harmony to serve others, their, um, their suffering is diminishing and their soul is grateful. Their soul sends you gratitude. What is gratitude? When we receive it, what is gratitude? Gratitude is virtue. Virtue offsets spiritual debt. So even though we have a suffering when we serve others, their gratitude comes back to us in the form of a virtue, which helps offset our suffering. And this is a natural occurrence in the world of souls. This is a natural aspect of understanding the nature of soul. So when I started this series, uh, I asked Kevin, how do I initiate the series on opening the heart and soul? And they said, teach people first that they must connect to their own soul, then connect to all the souls, including their inner souls and the outer souls, and then they can more readily understand how to open their heart and soul. So yesterday's teaching went into depth on that, including the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. If you are not chanting it, uh, you should be. And if you don't understand how it can serve you, then continue to watch and you will learn more. Uh, you can download the song and the PDF. Kristen has posted links to that, lovepeaceharmony.org. It's free information and it's a free, free music. Uh, and it's a way you can serve. By the way, every day at 12, we chant here at Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center. Um, you can call me, I'll give you the phone number. You can just call in at 12 o'clock, our time, <laughs> so you have to adjust it to your time. But it's only five minutes. And what the goal is, is to get billions of people around the world taking five minutes at noon, their time, every day, wherever you're at in the world, five minutes only, and just stop whatever you're doing, and call all souls and all universes to chant with you and just chant love, peace, and harmony. If you can get three people together, brilliant. Now you're, you're really making some huge movement in the world in ways that you can't possibly comprehend. So anyway, um, I spent a lot of time on that yesterday. I'm not going to repeat that again today. Um, please, if you missed it, uh, above the video is the links to my archive and you can just go to my Facebook page and scroll back just a, a couple of, a couple of um, uh, postings down and you'll come across yesterday's teaching. Today we're going to be focusing on inner beauty. So what is inner beauty? Well let's see what Master Shah has to say about this. Now this is in his Soul Healing Miracles book. This came out in approximately 2010 and this was when he first released the Tao Miracle Healing calligraphies. These uh, calligraphies are extraordinary and um, he says that in his book, we're no longer allowed to say miracle or healing uh, because it might piss off people that actually make money on things that are not miracle and not healing. And so we don't want to do that. But um, pick up the book and make your own conclusions. But in this book, <coughs> uh, on page 161, he speaks of uh, a, one of his calligraphies. Now, he did nine calligraphies in this book, which include the greatest love, the greatest light, uh, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion is in here. He has one on um, the foundational energy centers called Hei Hong Hong Ha. 
He even has one on um, the San Zhao, which is really good if you have a cold or flu. Uh, but and he did one, which is really amazing. I was doing a, uh, this is a couple years ago, I was doing a massage on a gentleman, and he came in with some significant, significant blockage in his neck. And um, so I asked before I started the massage if I could use his calligraphy. And he was like, yeah, whatever you want to do, I'm suffering, whatever. And so the first calligraphy, which we're not going to be using today, but just so you know what's in the book, is called the Source Ling Guang Calligraphy Dao Guang Jia Shang. Dao Guang, Dao the source, Guang is light, Jia Shang means exploding, so exploding light heals, exploding light heals. So I uh, asked the blessings in the calligraphy to go to this man's neck and shoulder. I just placed it on there and I just tapped on the book like this and I chanted Dao Guang Jia Shang for about 10 minutes. And you know this man had no clue what I was doing, he might have th thought I was crazy, who knows. But he was open because he was suffering. And so did the blessing. This is, this is, I was not considered a master teacher at that point. I was just one of the healers. And um, so it wasn't me. Uh, it was the blessings in the book. And after I took it off, I said, okay, so move your neck around. How's your pain? Now, I did check the number when he started. He was, he was like a 9 on a 10 scale. And he was moving his neck down. And he's like, I, how is that possible? He was just like dumbfounded. He was like, it's like maybe a 3 now. 10 minutes, one book. And so, uh, exploding light. So the exploding light, which is what this one, this particular, it's really good for significant blockages, you know, really hard-based blockages. And, you know, just exploding light, exploding light. So I was guided to use this calligraphy for the blockage in his neck. three. So the massage was then a piece of cake after that. Um, so it gives you an example of some of the significant uh, power that can be transmitted into a piece of paper. Uh, Master Shah jokes with this. He says, you know, as, as the students, as the master teachers, he says, you're not growing fast enough. You're not purifying enough. You're not opening your heart enough. You're not serving enough. If you were, I could transmit the same power I put in the books to you, the human being. He says, but the book doesn't have karma, so I can put huge power into it. It's the human being I can put little power in. So he wants all of his teachers and, his, and, and those that are on the healing path to purify so they can receive bigger healing power. People don't comprehend that in his books are extraordinary power. That their mind doesn't grasp it. So today we're going to be using one of these calligraphies, Guang, Guang Liang Hao Mei. So let me read you a little bit about this and uh, what he says about inner power so that you have some appreciation of this wisdom. Now I gotta back up to where I had found it. Got so excited I lost the page. Okay, give me a minute. This is what they call a live stream, a live stream error that's live. Now I gotta find it. Okay, page 163, very good. Okay, so I'm going to read to you directly from the book. Thank you all so much for all your shares. <coughs> Guang, the sacred source mantra Guang Liang Hao Mei. Guang, pronounced Guang, means light. This light includes the light of Mother Earth, the light of heaven, and the light of Tao, the source. Liang means transparency. Transparency is also light. This light can go through organs and systems, through the body. In one's spiritual journey, the highest achievement is to transform the physical body to a light body. This is what's called a body enlightenment. And real briefly, there's three forms of enlightenment. Soul enlightenment, mind enlightenment, body enlightenment. Soul enlightenment is the easiest. Mind enlightenment, that's like having zero negative thinking, zero negative anything, just perfect thinking all the time. Very difficult. Even more difficult, a light body. So he says that that's what this is referring to. When you're when your body has become a light body, 
a person with advanced third eye abilities can see through your body uh, as if it were transparent. Transparency is very important for healing and to uplift one's soul journey. The new source, Master Dog Wong Hao Mei, means transparency, transparent light brings inner and outer beauty. So, I am sharing with you another major spiritual secret. A human being, a body has two layers. One layer is named Yu Xing. The other layer is called Wu Xing. Yu Xing has shape and it can be seen. Wu, W-U, Wu Xing has no shape and it cannot be seen. Yu Xing has sub-layers. The sub-layers of Yu Xing are the capillary system, the organs, and all of the systems. Wu Xing, which is what you cannot see, has sub-layers. The meridian system, you've heard of acupuncture, right? The meridian system, transparency, and light. I am delighted to share with each of you that we are directly working at the highest layers. The highest layers are light and transparency. Therefore, when we chant Guang Liang, which is light and transparency, and visualize an area of our body shining the brightest light and becoming transparent, it is the highest spiritual and energy healing that we can do. We are extremely blessed that the Source has released this wisdom and this practice at this time. Master Shah goes on to say, I am extremely honored to be a servant of the Divine, the Tao, the Source, and humanity. How is the third word of this mantra. How means perfect. How means restore your health to normal conditions. So when we do these practices, you have the opportunity to maintain your highest health and wellness. Mei, which is the fourth word, Guang Liang Hao Mei, uh, of this source mantra means beauty. In my teachings, as Master Shah says, in my teachings there is inner beauty and outer beauty. Inner beauty is qualities, qualities of the soul, mind, and body. Outer beauty is also qualities of the soul, mind, and body. So Mei means inner beauty, outer beauty. Guang Liang Hao Mei, light transparency, good health, inner beauty, and outer beauty. All right? Now he goes on to bullet points. Inner beauty of the soul includes love, forgiveness, compassion, light. It includes kindness, generosity, sincerity, honesty, integrity. These are inner beauty characteristics. Humility, hum humility humble, no ego, purity, grace, selflessness, virtue, being a total gold servant, gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion to be an unconditional servant, and much more. Inner beauty of the mind, that was inner beauty of the soul. Inner beauty of the mind includes peace, calmness, gratitude, joy, bliss, acceptance, positivity, harmony, clarity, purity, confidence, flexibility, creativity, inspiration, non-attachment, and more. That's quite a long list, right? For inner beauty, first of the soul, then of the mind, Inner beauty of the body, health, energy, strength, flexibility, flow, balance, purity, harmony, freedom, attunement, and more. So I noticed that purity is listed several times and uh, so is flexibility. Flexibility is listed with the mind, flexible mind and the body. That makes sense. And I notice purity of the body and purity of the mind 
and purity of the soul. It was listed in all three. Okay, so what do you think is the most important quality? Purity is the only one listed in all three. What is purity? We're going to use that to focus for inner beauty today. Outer beauty of the soul, mind, and body includes actions, radiating love, actions of forgiveness, actions of compassion, and actions of light, behaviors carrying sincerity, behaviors carrying integrity and kindness, behaviors that carry gentleness and warmth. This also includes speech that is overflowing with love, care, compassion, and light, and resonating with inspiration that is heart-touching and moving. It also includes thoughts, offering grace, care and humility, purity, gratitude and service. Outer beauty also is a body vibrating with health, fitness, groundedness, openness and appeal and more. Now I want to pause for a moment. That was pretty awesome, wasn't it, right? That whole list for inner beauty, inner beauty of the soul, inner beauty of the mind, inner beauty of the body. There was like 30 bullet points. I can barely think of five if I, if I stopped and really worked hard at it. Then he goes on to say, how is outer beauty expressed? Very eloquently, outer beauty is being expressed. Do you know how long it took Master Shah to write this book? About a week or two. Do you think that he sat down and thought about each one of these bullet points, all 30 of them? No. He sat there and said, I'm ready, heaven. Please tell me what you want humanity to hear. And he spoke out these words, and they were just typed out by Master Cynthia. This is not Master Shah's stuff. This is heavenly wisdom brought to humanity to serve. He is an unconditional universal servant. He just said it. I thank you, Divine, for this incredible wisdom. I am honored to be your unconditional universal servant to serve humanity. Such a great being. That's, that's why I have no problem saying words, I, I don't mind following somebody if they're elevating my soul standing, teaching me how to get from here to enlightenment. I'm happy to go there. If any part of it doesn't resonate with me, I'll go a different direction. But until then, I'm going to follow somebody that knows what they're talking about. This is amazing wisdom. We're very blessed to have such, a, such an amazing soul bringing this wisdom to us. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now I'm going to look at purity. And then we're going to do a practice for purity. Master Shah often refers to purification. The students of Master Shah that are on the, 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 high, the high road path, the ones that are really on that path to reach enlightenment. They go to his retreats, they read his books, they do the practices, they're devoted. Uh, those students are going through what's called purification. That's a little bit different than purity. Purification is literally reversing your body, reversing your mind, reversing your soul, reversing your everything. A uh, whole different subject, but very briefly, how do we get back to enlightenment? How do we get back to source? Well, we started from source. Think of source like a clock. You go in a circle, right? And you come to the bottom, and then you go on your way back. From 12 o'clock down to 6 o'clock, on your way back. So from source, we went through heaven, and then to earth, and then we became a human being. That's at the 6 o'clock position. How do we get back? We go through reverse creation. What is reverse creation? It is turning back the clock of all experiences. What is forgiveness? It is reversing all that we had done that brought us to the six o'clock position. Forgiveness and love is what brings us to five o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock, and back to the source. And so 
uh, purification happens at the physical level. Purification happens at the emotional level. Purification happens at the mind level. Purification happens on all levels. So anybody that's on a significant spiritual path that truly wants to clean up their act and stop reincarnating, find their way back home, they must go through the process of reversing their body. That means reversing all their health issues, returning to, to perfection. That means reversing all their emotional blockages, all of their pain and suffering on the emotional level, all their closed heart issues, all those have to be healed. That means all the negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, all the ego, I'm right, you're wrong, all that stuff has to be reversed. So purity is aspects of purification. Purity is acknowledging that your temple, your outer beauty needs to be taken care of. Purity is acknowledging that you need to do better at maintaining love in your communication because it starts from the inside before it's expressed externally. Purity is acknowledging any of the pain and suffering where you were the victim that you may have had some responsibility in bringing those conditions to you. And even if you did not, forgiveness and love is what is most important to have the purest heart. So purity showed up in all levels, the soul, the mind, and the body. So the way to open your heart and soul is to purify. And purification, uh, according to the great teachers that have come to humanity, Buddha said, life is suffering. Well, that doesn't have to be true, especially since we have some beautiful teachings from Master Shah that teaches us you can dissolve the suffering with love and forgiveness. And he brings to us things like this calligraphy, like the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, and many other ways in which we can purify faster with the least amount of suffering possible. So suffering shows up uh, because of our spiritual debt. Suffering shows up because we or our ancestors have thought unpleasant things, uh, spoken unpleasant things, or done unpleasant things to ourselves and others. Very simple. That's why suffering shows up in our world. Those who are not suffering have done less of those things, therefore they have less suffering. So it's pretty simple math when you break it down. So purity is about the recognition of all of those things that inhibit us from having uh, the inner beauty that we, we want. So. Uh, briefly going back to the inner beauty, love and forgiveness, compassion and light. Are you expressing that with your thoughts and words and actions? Kindness and generosity, sincerity, honesty. Are you sincere when you speak? Are you honest when you speak? When you do your actions? Uh, are you in integrity? You know, I'm I wouldn't say constantly, but I definitely am not, not in integrity 100% of the time. There are things that I can do better. Sincerity, I, I do a pretty good job, but sometimes it's, it's just not there. Um, humility, yeah. humility means no ego. Definitely have more ego. Until I'm at enlightenment, I will have ego. So it's just a constant process. Um, selflessness, what is selflessness? Choosing to stay at home and chant love, peace, and harmony to serve all souls of humanity for two hours instead of going to see a movie. Do I go to see movies by myself? Yes, that's selfishness. So even on this path, I have a lot of growth to do. This is purification. This is purity. Take a look at where you're at. How are you doing on those paths? Um, virtue. What are you doing to create more virtue in your life and stop creating spiritual debt? peace, calmness, gratitude, joy, bliss. Are you experiencing any of those at the level of your mind? If you're not experiencing peace, joy, gratitude, bliss, positivity, harmony, clarity, confidence and flexibility, creativity, if you're not in a constant experience of these kinds of things, then these are opportunities to purify, opportunities to acknowledge them. One of the students that I was working with just before this live stream 
ask, how do I change a negative thought into a positive one? Now some of you have heard this before, but it's always good to hear it again because invariably we find ourselves in a place of negativity which is an opportunity to purify, an opportunity to open our heart, an opportunity to open our soul to that other, whoever we want to blame, for that negative thought that enters our field. Okay. Uh, it could be that we saw a blue vase on the wall and it triggered a negative thought about the brother who's been yelling at us for the last five years and he started the yelling when you were in his house at the fireplace with that big blue vase. So you see it, boom, it triggers a negative thought. You don't even link that it could be associated with that as an example. But regardless of where that negativity comes from, uh, we have a chance to purify it. How do we develop inner beauty? We start by recognizing that those things that inhibit us from having an open heart, such as a negative thought, uh, need to be purified. And it starts with acknowledgement. It starts with seeing it. Okay? It doesn't matter what it is. It all starts with seeing it. If it is not bringing you joy, happiness, if it's not making you warm and fuzzy, then it's an opportunity to purify. It's an opportunity to cleanse it and wash it away. How do we do that using the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us? We do that by first seeing it and we apply the wisdom that Master Shah has taught us that everything has a soul. So that means that that negative thought has a soul. That whatever enters our field that brings us a lack of joy, a lack of, of compassion, a lack of harmony. Many things enter our field, like uh, the question of, of uh, uh, what do you do with the co-workers? That came up earlier with Carol. <clears throat> and so how do you deal with it? If anything enters our field, we must recognize that we have a disharmony or a lack of alignment there. Our souls and, and the souls of those individuals that brought us this opportunity are in a lack of alignment. And so we apply the wisdom to bring about that alignment, that purification. And how do we do that? We acknowledge it first. Everything has a soul. The soul of the co-workers have a soul. The soul of the negative thought has a soul. The soul of the person that was the precursor to that negative thought has a soul. Everything has a soul because everything is part of creation. Creator created everything and before something comes into a physical experience, it was energy and matter that coalesced into a thought which coalesced into an experience itself. And so uh, given that everything has a soul, what is the purpose of every soul? What have you guys learned? Let's see if you've learned anything. What's the purpose of every soul? Ah, 67% of you got it. The purpose of every soul is to serve. That's right. So we think of a human being serving. Oh, I don't know if, uh, if I have time to serve, da, 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 da. But every soul's original purpose is to serve. So the soul of the thought, the negative thought, is to serve. Very good. I see the, the answers coming up now. How can a negative thought serve us? How can that, that co-worker be serving me? They're being mean. They're being vindictive. They're being this. They're being that. Every soul's purpose is to serve. It gives us an opportunity to purify. It gives us an opportunity to go within and say, hmm, okay, I'm not really enjoying this experience. I am not going to respond or react because I'm conscious. I'm going to choose a different tact. I'm going to do something that requires me to be in a place of love and forgiveness and consciousness. And I'm going to choose this for my own inner beauty, for opening my heart, for opening my soul, for realigning my soul to the oneness that it came from. Because from our original oneness, do you think that negative coworker would have been there? From our original oneness, do you think that negative thought, word, experience would have ever happened to you? No chance. It happened because we're so far from that oneness that we're in the process of being made aware of all the unpleasant things we may have brought to others. So it's going to be in our face until we deal with it. That's just the nature of life. You'll reincarnate and you'll have to deal with this stuff until you don't. Buddha says, life is suffering. What does that mean? That means that as we're experiencing 
all of the spiritual debt that we have brought about in the course of time, we have opportunities to fix it with love and forgiveness. Starts with awareness, then we see that it has a soul. Then we say, ah, I am not going to let this soul take me down the way it has in the past. I am going to deal with it properly. I recognize now that it has a service. Dear the soul of this negative uh, mindset, this negative attitude, to the soul of this negative whatever, uh, of this person. I love you. How many people have negative thoughts, ignore it, shove it down, and it comes back? Right? It, any, any form of any, anything we don't want in the mind, it will just keep coming back and keep coming back. Why? Because we haven't dealt with it. How do we deal with it? Love. Awareness of its purpose. Dear the soul of this negative person, the soul of this negativity, I love you. I really, really do. Thank you for your service. Thank you for this opportunity that you bring me. You have been following me for eight years now. You have been speaking to me again and again and again. And it's time for me to pay attention to your message. You must mean that if I keep giving this, getting this negative thought, either I have not learned the lesson, which is I have created that same negative experience upon others, so I need to do forgiveness around that. That's part of the service that it's offering you. The opportunity to recognize, if it keeps coming back, it keeps coming back, what did you do to others where they have that same negative experience? Ask for and offer forgiveness. Every soul is here to serve us, to give us this opportunity to purify, open our heart, open our soul. Inner beauty is about awakening to having more joy, awakening to have more calmness and peace, awakening to have more harmony. We cannot have this inner joy, this inner peace, this inner harmony if we have these external things bumping up against us. So we must see them, acknowledge their service, love them. So we acknowledge its service. Whatever the negativity is, we simply recognize that as the opportunity to flip it. Ah, this is serving me. Now I can flip it and do forgiveness practice around bringing the same negativity upon others. If we stay in the victim mode, if we stay in the self-righteousness mode, if we stay in the, the mode of, I don't get it, I'm right, they're wrong, whatever it might be, you can do that, but how has that served you the last eight years? It still comes around, doesn't it? So you have to deal with it head on. You deal with it with love and forgiveness. The love part is after you do the forgiveness, you say, I love you. Thank you for your service. You have served me well. I finally got the lesson you've been trying to serve me with. I'm no longer in need of your service. I invite you to transform to light and go serve somewhere else. The soul has completed its service. It can go serve somewhere else. And then you want to apply higher frequency. What's higher frequency? We discussed this yesterday. If you try to bring your frequency to it, it's been difficult. That's why it's still there. So you bring the higher frequency of the song or a calligraphy or anything that carries a higher love, carries a higher frequency. Divine's love is even higher than love. You could simply chant, Divine love melts this negative thought. Divine love melts this negative thought, blesses it to go somewhere else. Literally, you could just bring that higher frequency. But I tell you the clue, love, peace, and harmony. That's the simple version. Dear the soul of this negative thought, word, experience, this person, I love you. Please forgive me for ever doing these same things to you. Uh, I will not make the same mistakes again. I have learned my lesson. Thank you for this opportunity. I love you. I forgive you unconditionally for bringing these negativities to me. And I ask for your unconditional forgiveness if I have ever brought those negativities to you. Very simple step-by-step -step process. Acknowledge it. See its service. Love it. Reverse the forgiveness. Ask forgiveness. Offer forgiveness. And then we chant love, peace, and harmony for a couple of minutes. Always remember to bring in the higher frequency souls. Dear, you believe in Jesus? Dear Jesus, please come. You believe in Buddha? Dear Buddha, please come. 
whoever you believe, dear God, I love you. Could you please offer service at this time? Help me to transform this part of my life so I can purify to be a better soul. Open my heart. Of course, the beings of light come. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony on my soul and on this soul. Every soul has had this love, peace, and harmony transmitted to it. And the soul of this person that I have this negativity with. I love you. Would you please chant love, peace, and harmony with me to release these blockages, replace it with love and positivity. And then you just chant, right? Chant love, peace, and harmony. Focus on love, peace, and harmony. Send love, peace, and harmony to that negative thought. And if you could watch it, it's a soul. It just flies away. It's happy. Now, aspects of it may show up. It might have layers. You might, you're, you're going to forget about it after a couple minutes because you brought in high frequency. You'll just be chanting love, peace, and harmony. You'll go about your business. You're, you're gone, and the negativity is gone. It could come back. Two hours later, the next day. If it's a significant trauma, it's likely it will come back a couple hours later or when something else triggers you because seriously negative traumas have many triggers. But if a different trigger comes up, you do the same process. You keep sending it love and keep dissolving it because love melts all blockages. Forgiveness brings what? Inner peace, inner joy. What are we focusing on today? Inner beauty. Love melts all blockages. Forgiveness brings inner peace, inner joy. Do you know who quoted that? Master Shah. Do you know where he heard it from? Our Creator. He takes no credit for anything that has ever come through him. He always gives credit to our Creator. And the Creator sent this wisdom through a soul like Master Shah so that we in humanity could clean up our stuff, stop the suffering, and find our way back home. Very simple step-by-step -step methods to accomplish releasing the blockages that show up in our life. Life does not have to be suffering, guys. You just catch it. Catch it like somebody catching a ball in a mitt. Aha! I caught you. I see you. I love you. Thank you for your purpose. Thank you for your service. Thank you for helping me to recognize I may have earned this unpleasant experience I'm having. It's time that we complete this so that I never have to deal with this again. And you just duplicate, right? Always bring in the higher souls, love, peace, and harmony, divine Tao source, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Jesus, Mother Mary. Bring them all, okay? More light is better. More good light souls are better. And then chant, love, peace, harmony. Duplicate this process and you will find your life, your heart opening more, your soul opening more. Your inner beauty will start reflecting the harmony, the peace, the joy will come out. The people will not recognize you. You'll go to work after you do this a couple weeks and people will say, did you get a new haircut? You'll say, no. And you're in your head, you're chanting love, peace, and harmony. And they'll come back by your desk an hour later and go, something's changed about you. I don't know what it is. What they're seeing is your light, which has always been there, but it has been compressed and 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 unable to express itself because of all of the crud that's been following you from lifetime to lifetime that you haven't had the skill set to dissolve. Now you have it. You just keep working with it with the same skills. The key, as is with everything that Master Shah has brought to us, is the power of soul. If you do not apply soul to everything that you do, to the organ or system or the kidney or the back pain. It has a soul. Oh, my aching back. I have a bad back. Do you talk to your kids that way? Everything has a soul. Send the soul's love. Do your forgiveness practice. It doesn't matter what it is. It's an opportunity to purify, to be in a place of love. Now, having said that, it doesn't mean that you won't have some significant stuff to deal with from the past or moving forward. Pardon my French, but shit happens, okay? Stuff can come up even when you're doing good and all of a sudden you get hit by the, by the semi-truck. It doesn't mean that you all of a sudden forget what you have learned. Those that practice on these little steps, when 
And if something bigger comes, you just practice the exact same way and that big thing becomes little a lot faster. It doesn't carry the weight, it doesn't carry the oomph that it would have in the past had you given it the unpleasant attention that it's looking for. You simply apply the same wisdom, large or small, regardless of the condition, and any form of unpleasantness that comes into your life will be converted to happiness and joy much, much faster. Okay? So this is the wisdom. So now let us do the practice. Okay, Kate. We'll see you soon. So I am on page uh, in Master Shah's book, Soul Healing Miracles. I am on uh, figure 16, which is the third calligraphy in his uh, book. If you happen to have his book, go grab it. Uh, much better to have it in front of you and do this tracing with me. I'll be invoking the blessings in this calligraphy on your behalf. We're going to go through this practice together. I want you to choose one area of your life, an organ, a system, a health condition, an emotional blockage, whatever it is. Uh, you can choose something that's internal that you like to resolve internally. Maybe it's lack of love, something like that. Then um, I just saw a text come in, knocked me off. So uh, let's do this practice together, okay? First, close our eyes, sit up straight, feet flat on the floor. Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position and connect. That's placing them like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Right hand remains pointed upwards. Close your eyes, let us connect. Dear all the beings of light who have come to this wisdom, blessing, and practice today. My name is, state your name three times. Efrosini, the name of the book is called Soul Healing Miracles. My name is, I am deeply honored for the opportunity to receive your blessings today. Please bless me for my request, state your request, Please bless me to open my heart and soul more and more. Please bless me to, pur to purify in a gentle way that allows me to see the various sufferings that I or my ancestors may have caused upon others so that I can transform them easily, effortlessly, painlessly, and bring more joy and happiness to my life. I am so grateful. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all souls, in all time, I wish to sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have brought any form of suffering to you by wrong thoughts, wrong words, wrong actions in this or any time. I most sincerely apologize and ask most humbly for your forgiveness. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness if you have brought any form of harm or suffering to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and now uh, I will invoke the calligraphy. So you can ask uh, by yourself. You can ask any of the saints, the guys, the, any, anyone that you believe, ask their souls to come to serve you. So to the soul of the Source Ling Guang calligraphy, uh, Guang Ling Hao Mei, uh, light transparency brings perfect inner and outer beauty. The countless blessings, countless uh, saints, saints, animals, treasures, temples, 
everything that's been transmitted to this calligraphy. Love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you most humbly to please come at this time, offer blessings to everyone that is watching, everyone that is listening for their request. We're very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will chant, you may chant with me, <clears throat> and I will also trace on your behalf. Guangling Hao Mei, Guangliang 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 Hao Mei. Guang Liang Hao Mei 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 Divine Light Divine Transparency Divine Inner Beauty Divine Outer Beauty Divine Light Divine Transparency Divine Inner Beauty Divine Outer Beauty <coughs> Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Divine Light Divine Transparency Divine Inner Beauty Divine Outer Beauty Purify my heart and soul Purify my heart and soul Open my heart and soul Open my heart and soul Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Guang Liang Hao Mei Divine Inner Beauty Divine Outer Beauty Opens my heart and soul Opens my heart and soul Divine Light Divine Transparency Opens my heart and soul Opens my heart and soul Guang Liang Hao Mei 
光亮好美，光亮好美，光亮好美 ，Divine inner beauty。Opens my heart and soul, divine outer beauty. Opens my heart and soul. Guangliang hao mei, Guangliang hao mei, Guangliang hao mei. 光亮好美 ，Please open my heart and soul，Bring honesty, integrity, love, compassion and light，Humility and forgiveness，Open my heart and soul，Release inner love blockages。Release inner love mindsets. Release inner love negativity. Open my heart and soul. Release negative thinking. Release all that bothers me. Open my heart and soul. Guangliang hao mei. Guangliang hao mei. Guangliang hao mei. Guangliang hao mei. Hao, hao, hao. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We offer our gratitude. If you'd like, you can bow your head nine times to all the beings of light that offered their service here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the blessings from the calligraphy, from Guangliang Hao Mei, from all the beings of light that offered their service. So please share if you had any, uh, anything come up for you during this wisdom teaching and blessings, any aha moments, uh, if you saw anything with your third eye, if you... Um, if you felt opening in your heart, vibration in different parts of your body, heat, uh, any sensations you might have noticed, please share. And Anne-Marie, she says the pain in her leg has gone down again. So you want to practice more, Anne-Marie. Do forgiveness around bringing pain to other people's legs, hips, uh, and associated muscles, ligaments, joints, and tendons. Ask for forgiveness. <clears throat> A lot of people responding, peace, peace, and peace. Wonderful. Peace is at the mind level. So that means that uh, all of those that responded with peace, maybe their minds were quite busy when they came in. Katie Nana says, amazing flow of heat and energy different with each word. And Anna Marie says, below her tummy, she feels some tightening inside. So that means that the energies are moving. Um, so recommend that you go back through, do the practices again. Do a deep and authentic forgiveness practice. Forgive yourself, forgive others, ask for forgiveness. Whatever the suffering is, invite the soul of love, peace, and harmony to come in. Remember, everything has a soul. And all souls have received this song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls. Yesterday, I, I offered a teaching that heaven has transmitted this to all souls. So that means all negative thoughts have love, peace, and harmony song transmitted to it. Everything, the soul of that pain has that song. Dear the soul of this suffering, the soul of this negative thought, you can also chant love, peace, and harmony with me to transform this blockage. This is very advanced teaching, maybe even hard to comprehend and understand. But as Master Shah teaches, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know if it works, 
follow the teachings, remember everything has a soul, communicate with the soul, remember it has the song of love, peace and harmony transmitted to it, and ask it to chant with you. This is very simple teachings, but it's new, so it might take a little while to absorb. But if you do the practices, you will find significant, significant benefits. Make sure you teach the simple versions of this wisdom to your children, to your loved ones, anyone that is going through a form of suffering, just ask their permission. Do you mind if I share with you a beautiful practice that could relieve some of your suffering? What are they going to say? Of course. You say, great, let's connect and let's offer our gratitude. Let's do forgiveness and we'll chant a beautiful song and we'll see if it feels better afterwards. They're probably going to feel better afterwards and be very grateful. You also remember it better that way when you teach others. You have the potential to bring harmony to humanity on a very big scale just by teaching one or two other people and ideally teach them to teach others. Master Shah didn't bring this wisdom, uh, Divine didn't bring this wisdom through Master Shah to humanity so it could stop with us. He brought it so that it can be spread, so that everybody can learn about love, peace, and forgiveness, and how to release these kinds of blockages. So make sure that you do it and share it. It has been my honor to serve each of you here today. I saw some of your comments, very relaxed, very blissed, beautiful. Kristen says, I was actually tracing a different calligraphy, and it seemed to go better with the chanting and tracing that you were doing. Wonderful. Uh, El Ephrosini, she was tighter in the chest, awareness of this, lighter in the heart. So blockages were clearing, especially if, it's, uh, if it becomes tighter and looser. That means heart center blockages were clearing. Very good. Jennifer says she had chills, got cold, and cried. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. Lots of thank yous. Um, very calming. <laughs> thank you, Anne-Marie. Uh, Nina, so beautiful. Listen, while my daughter Joy and I were looking for a house for her, I was driving her. She feels a lot better. Thank you. She'll be watching every day. Wonderful. Happy to have your daughter Joy join with us. So again, thank you all for joining. I look forward to sharing this. Please uh, uh, subscribe on the webcast. Subscribe on the podcast. The more you share, uh, the more people can know about this. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light that have come. Respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody.